can you just start by explaining a little bit about your presentations at CCR East? Sure. Uh, well, I'm I'm delighted to be invited uh, to give a lecture to uh, primarily rheumatologists. Uh, I'm an interventional pain physician, so I'm an anesthesiologist who did an extra year of interventional pain training, and uh, um, I think it's it's very exciting because, uh, of course, so many people with rheumatology or rheuma rheumatologic conditions have pain states. And there's been a great advancement in interventional pain. Uh, and it, uh, hopefully my topic uh, on uh, what's new will focus on some of the things that everyone in the audience might consider for their patients who have pain states. Uh, the second topic is on uh, basically adjuvants that are not opiate, uh, since there's such a big uh, demand from s s state and federal officials for us to not give out opiates the way that we once did. So that second topic focuses on these adjuvant agents. So if I talk a little more about the topics in the interventional uh, pain uh, section of my presentation, there are three subtopics. One is on uh, regenerative medicine. And so regenerative medicine basically uses substances uh, like stem cells and uh, activated platelets uh, that help regrow and heal uh, joints and discs uh, uh, and uh, inflamed areas, musculoskeletal and others. And uh, that's a great topic because there now are lots of publications that have demonstrated efficacy and there are now books that have come out focusing uh, on this. And the American Society of Interventional Pain Physicians for which I serve on their board and I'm the editor in chief of their journal uh, has worked hard to uh, help decipher what's fact and what's fiction. Um, the second part uh, looks at a procedure called the mild procedure, uh, which is relatively new, and uh, it's a technique to uh, help manage people with hypertrophied ligamentum flavum uh, that can pinch off nerve roots and cause uh, a lot of difficult uh, uh, chronic pain states. And so it's a relatively new procedure that I would think most rheumatologists have not heard about. And the third, which I think has gotten uh, a lot of press uh, and has also had a lot of new changes is spinal cord stimulation. And spinal cord stimulation has had many advances technologically so that it's uh, better accepted by patients. So there's less uh, uh, side effects and um, sensations uh, that have kind of uh, made it uh, into a more forefront uh, technique for people with different chronic pain states. So you could see that all three of those topics fit perfectly for a rheumatologist who might have patients who have chronic pain and have been um, only receiving pain meds, opiates. And now with all of the guidelines and the state governments looking at every prescription that we write, uh, we, we have to stay within the bounds of the state and federal regulations. And what better way to do it than to give adjuvants that are not opiates uh, and to look at some of these newer uh, interventional pain techniques like regenerative medicine, like the mild procedure, uh, and like spinal cord stimulation.